Welcome to part one in a short series of tutorials for EasyGen, a quick and easy way to make terrain for your custom mapping needs. Uh, this works well for smoking guns, uh, other Quake 3 Arena engine games. And uh, today for this tutorial we'll learn some basic functionality and generate a quick terrain. Okay, so when you first start up the program, this is what you'll see. I generally turn off the XY indicators. You don't really need those. To move around in the 3D space here, hold the right mouse button, and you can move around forwards, backwards, left, and right. Holding the left mouse button will allow you to pivot around your particular point in space there. And holding right and left mouse buttons at the same time allows you to move up and down vertically. It takes a little while to get used to but you will. This entire black area here is an indication of the approximate size of the terrain that will be generated. Uh, you can adjust that over here under widths. For instance if I were to double that number then the terrain would be doubled in size of course. Divisions that is the actual size of the blocks here and uh, lower numbers means more blocky or bigger blocks I should say like so and the higher the number that you use the more smooth terrain that you can create but keep in mind that the more polygons you have in your map the poor performance will be unless you are very skilled in optimization techniques for today's tutorial, let's go with 24. And let's dive right in, shall we? We'll go up to modifier and just select something easy. Let's go with a hill. Now, to move this around, you hold control on the keyboard, left click the mouse and hold it, and you can move this anywhere you want. Holding shift on the keyboard and going up or down or forwards and backwards with your mouse rather will increase or decrease the affected area. Holding control on the keyboard and holding right click on the mouse allows you to go up and down vertically. And that's basically it. Of course you have other options available to you. Uh, let's suppose we wanted to work you know with a really blocky environment you could choose the square But for now, let's go with hill. We'll make a, a somewhat mountainous terrain right around the edges of the map. And if, of course, if I wanted to, I could make a really big slope in the map. Kind of a nice downhill type of terrain there. But we're not too concerned with that right now. Let's just go ahead and make a, sort of a mountainous terrain right around the perimeter there. Once you get something in place and you like the way it looks, you can either hit apply or simply sp press the space bar on your keyboard and then just move it away after that. And another thing of uh, notable mention here, you'll notice that add is checked. That means that this will get added to that. If you use the compare function then it doesn't really add to it it simply you know replaces polygons around it so it's up to you and what kind of terrain you're looking for I like to use both actually uh, different circumstances for different maps and it's a good idea to vary the sizes and the shapes you know kind of make something a somewhat varied and natural and you can you know like I said you can always use a combination of effects there between the add and compare features make something real quick here for this tutorial
and I think that's good enough okay so very quickly we've got a mountainous terrain right around the perimeter of our map here now if you wanted to you could go up and select none and let's say that I don't particularly like how sharp these peaks are here control shift on the keyboard and left click with the mouse will allow you to adjust vertices individually if you want to go through and fine tune the area like so Just kind of smooth out a few things you know get it however you want it it's your map make it the way you like it okay and that's good enough for now just for this quick simple test that is one way to make a terrain very quick very simple very easy may not look so great right now but uh, in the next series we'll show you how to make it look pretty darn good so now we we'll want to uh, save it and let's just save it as D1 that's one way to save another thing you could do is export a height map and we'll call that D1 also so there's another way to actually generate terrain with height maps if you're proficient with uh, say Photoshop or Paint Shop Pro something of that nature then you could actually just make a bitmap and rather than go through the uh, manual manipulation of vertices like we did just then we'll import a height map and we'll just use the same one okay and you can set how high you, you know how tall or how short you want it right here and this is the image this is something you could create with an image editor and import into EasyGen the very white parts will be the highest peaks and the blackest areas will be the lowest sections in your terrain and just to show you when we set the terrain at 256 alright now that is the same thing that we just created a moment ago but much shorter let's re-import that and I don't know we'll set it to 700 it does help to select the file you want to import and now you can see that it's much much more like we had before if I wanted to check and see exactly what we had you can look right here and see that the maximum height is 968 so let's re-import that height map set it to 968 this time and it should give us the exact same thing that we created to start with and of course it does so that's two ways to create terrain two ways to save your terrain and we will cover more advanced features in the next series thanks for watching